I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Aries, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week Aries. Now I also do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person Aries which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings Aries be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective I'm just a man reading some color cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. So pick the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you though Aries be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let me know your aha moment that you have with the cards of a card that just really resonates with you because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments right? And then if you do find a card that resonates I would appreciate it for you to give me a like and subscribe Aries because it does help out my channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally Aries, I'm not here to make a decision in your life. I'm here just to give you pull out some tarot cards, right? And give you perspective to consider something for you to think about as you go throughout your week, Aries. Um but with all that being said, right, let's get into this reading now for you. Um I'm starting out with the overall energies for you, Aries. Do we want an oracle card, honey? Yeah, we want an oracle card as well. So hold up. Before you get into that, um, I'm going to pull a moon oracle card for the overall energy as well. <laughs> but y'all like... So Aries, y'all can't see it, but... <coughs> I'm dying, apparently. <coughs> oh my gosh. I just had all my tarot cards fly everywhere, Aries. Honey, let's get into this now. <laughs> Tulip's there in the back. Cameo from Tulip. <laughs> she looks so offended. All right, Aries, I'm sorry for wasting your time. Let's get into this now. The card that I pulled, the Oracle card now that I worked so hard to get for you, Aries, is the New Moon in Leo. Confidence is key to your success. So I feel like, dare I say, uh, Aries, I feel like you guys kind of need a, like a little bit of a booster. Um, I can't help but feel whenever I was, well, when I was connecting with y'all's energy and I was doing my pre-shuffle, I kept on just getting like, um, just felt like this, uh, consistent, like weighing down and even just almost like this, uh, I was starting to hear like, um, like chatter in the back of my mind, but it was just like that self-deprecating chatter. So I'm almost taking that as a signal for some of you Aries experiencing some type of um, mental spiral where it's like you're being pretty hard on yourself, whether this is in regards to a person and you're um, stressed out and worried about this, how this person is receiving you, Aries, or even if it's in terms of your job and like needing to, wanting to get success in your job or your career. Um, it feels almost as if like maybe you don't think you're deserving of it or maybe you don't think you would be able to uh, get to that level that you would like. And I'm just here to tell you that it's just like, we need to fix that, honey, right? What's going on that has you in this um, type of mindset, right? I was only like dealing with it during like the shuffling. I can't imagine what your life is like right now and like where your headspace might have to be dealing with that constantly. So yeah, let's figure it. Hopefully we can figure that out in this reading, how we can rectify them. The two tarot cards that I pulled as well, Aries, for your overall energy this week is the Hierophant. Now, this is connecting to your higher self, right? So, which makes sense, right? I feel like this is more of a calling for a lot of you Aries to start connecting to your higher selves more, to start being more in tune with your potential, right? Because when you start connecting to your higher self, you just not only have a, um, you not only have a much, uh, appreciation isn't the word I want, but I guess we'll use that, a much better appreciation or much more, uh, a better understanding of the world, I guess. Um, but you also just, like, you're at peace with yourself. And I feel like that's really the ultimate goal this week for you, Aries, is just finding peace within yourself. Because it's, see, I, I don't know, I feel like the physical world, maybe I'm speaking ahead of myself, but it feels like in the physical world, things are starting to really pan out really nicely for you. But there's something going on up here that's kind of bothering you. Something with this Queen of Swords where it's just, like, deep in thought and just really... It's almost just like, maybe for some of you Aries, you're just like, oh, like this is like looking too good. Like with something, what, what, wait, almost waiting for the ball to drop and being like, okay, like what's going to happen now? I've been having too much good in my life right now. Um, 
it can't truly continue on like this, right? So you're in just like this place of um, kind of like tensed up, haven't been able to relax probably Aries for a while, just feeling like constantly like like you need to work or catch up in something, even though if you, like maybe it feels like you're just behind, even though there's nothing in specific that you're behind about, but it's just like you can't allow yourself just to like breathe almost, right? Even like now as I'm speaking, it's just like a, <laughs> like even though I'm obviously breathing Aries, like it doesn't feel like I'm getting like enough air, right? So let's get into your career now, Aries, for my Aries that are inter interested in career. Then we'll get into your social situations and then we'll just get into overall messages. Um, but the tarot card, before we get into clarifiers for your career, is the hanged man. So a couple things here. Aries, this is about commitment um, to like sticking, st uh, what's the word? Sticking to your guns, is that the word? Is that the phrase for it? Sticking to your guns? Um, continuing on on the path that you started, right? With this hanged man and committing to it. Uh, because here's the thing. Uh, it may be like a rough transition at first. It may be like rough even going through it. Like you're just like going through like the thick of it. Maybe like there's just like, you know, trudging through the mud perhaps, right? And it's like, uh, let's still look at the back of the deck energy. And it's just like the mud is like knee, like knee high deep and you're just still trudging through it. And it's just in your mind, you're just like, is this even worth it? Like, what is it at the end of this? Like, are you even going to find happiness by the end of it? And something I want to point out to you, Aries, is with this hanged man, you see the sun right here as well, right? And she isn't able to get that perspective until she committed to it and had like a change of scenery, a change of view. So it's almost like, yeah, you may not see the uh, sun right now, but you, once you finish all the, like once you finish trudging through that mud areas, you're going to see that sun. You, you, even if you can't see it in this moment. Empress card comes in as the back of the deck energy for you as well, Aries, for your career. So this is definitely just a plate time of just growth, a time for you to really tend to yourself, right? The uh, Empress is all about um, growing with the world around you and really just, um, it's kind of like, a, I see it as like a really thriving energy. So... Um, let's get into some clarifiers. Oh, the cards are already flying out for you. Clarifiers for your career now, Aries. Um, what I'm just gathering just off of that alone, Aries, in terms of like um, my Aries that are working on projects, for example, or really putting a bunch of time into something, um, and maybe it's just been like a struggle. Maybe it's just like you've been working so hard and it's just like maybe you're even close to the precipice of, of it being done or like near the end of, nearing the end of this tunnel for this project. And so maybe you're starting to, to start develop some cold feet. You know, just like, oh, is this even going to work out? Am I even going to get the payout that makes this worth it? You know, um, so let's go look at these clarifiers. We have the Ace of Swords coming in with the King of Swords. A lot of, a lot of matters of the mind, a lot of air energy and then we have eight of pentacles right no is this eight of, yeah eight of pentacles eight of pentacles so uh eight of pentacles talks about contracts um eight of pentacles talks and you know it's quite literally all about like the business side of things um so for some of you aries i feel like i mean this is kind of just reaffirming what i was saying before in the sense of you know maybe you're worried about like the um it just feels like there's some sense of like anxiety over the, um, either like your work situation or your finances, like paying out or like paying off rather, or just having things work out. And maybe you even feeling as if like uh, you're capable of handling it, right? This Ace of Swords and this King of Swords, this Ace of Swords shows to me um, pretty much like how rapid your mind is going right perhaps some of you Aries have a lot of creative ideas and you know i've only been speaking with perspective of the Aries that have already actively are actively working on like that project or actively working some type of job but this also could be talking about an Aries that has a bunch of great ideas a bunch of aspirations but they don't commit to it. They don't take action on it because they don't think like it's not worth doing, right? You feel as if it's not worth doing because it's not going to give you the payout that you deserve or that you feel like um, would make it worth it perhaps, right? Back of the deck energy, page of pentacles as well, page of coins, a lot of coin energy um, as well, coins um, and swords, which I feel like 
um, really summarizes what I was really tapping into for your general energy. So one thing I want to note as well is that with the page of pentacles, pages start, talk about a new beginning. So I really do feel like maybe a lot of your nervousness Aries, just comes from the unknown of it all, um, coming from just the newness of it all. And you just, you don't know what the result is going to be, right? And that's why you need to connect to your higher self, because sometimes you just need to be at peace with not knowing what exactly is going on, being at peace with not knowing uh, the game plan until after the fact, right? Until after the action's already done and you can't go back. So we'll close off that row now. Um, do we want to pull an oracle? No, we don't want to pull an oracle for it, Aries. <laughs> We're going to get into your social interactions now, Aries, for this week. See what's up and going on with that. Let's see. What's going on with my Aries and their social situation? We have four swords. So you're in your head. You're in your feelings about something or someone, obviously someone fits your social situation. Uh, four Swords, yeah. This is an energy of... Mm, it doesn't have to necessarily be a place of where you're hurt, right? It could be a place of where you are just in this reclusive energy and just tending to your own heart, licking your own wounds. Um, but I just get this sense of... Um, anxiety again with all this air energy especially with this confidence is key to success Aries remember what I was saying before uh beginning of where I was just like um stressed and worried about how someone's thinking of you perhaps right so let's just go ahead and actually tap into that let's ask that question what is this person's thoughts maybe that will help rectify um some of your Aries anxiety or stress in regards to the situation so let's see what part we can get in regards to that all right Queen of Swords, a lot. Mm. Okay. Six of Swords is their back of the deck energy, Aries. They have the Queen of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the Nine of Swords coming in. So they're in their head as well, Aries. A little bit. Um, it's almost like... It seems like y'all have gotten into a fight. Recently, I'm going to be honest here, we have the Six of Swords as the back of the deck energy, which is talking about moving on, essentially. It, it does get a sense of where this person doesn't want to move on, though, because you look at this, this person's not happy while moving on, and they have the Nine of Swords here to, like, allow you to know, like, where their mindset is at while they're leaving. It's not like they're leaving happily, Aries, so I don't know if you feel as if, like, they don't care about you or whatever, and that's why you're in your feelings, you're, like, laying there with your heart, um, right? Maybe it's just like, oh, they don't care, but it seems like for them, they don't have any other choice, right? They have the Queen of Swords here, which is someone that's being very protective of their energy, very guarded, um, which is interesting that it's very much so like a mirroring almost, um, just because of like the, <laughs> the swords cards coming in with you and the queen of swords as that overall energy. And so it seems to be in regards to your social situation, granted, I don't know what went on with you, Aries, and this person, but it could be like a place of just like misunderstanding because it's like, I'm seeing you having anxiety, but they're also having anxiety and it feels like they don't have any other option but to have to move on from this situation though um but they're not liking this at all right it just feels like they they're kind of forced into this decision Aries so if you do want to make it work with this person maybe it's time to just like um I don't want to say force the conversation but just kind of have a transparent conversation be like hey I care about you let's forget about the past or like let's move on from the past let's work through these feelings i mean i'm in it for the long call are you right and i feel like they will receive you really well aries if you do that and that's going to not only rectify your anxiety in regards to the social social connection <laughs> this tulip giving another um <laughs> Uh, cameo but not only will it help your anxiety Aries but it probably will help them as well but it feels like their hand like it from their perspective it seems like they feel as if their hand was pushed into moving on right um they're not happy about it right they really are in their feelings about it but especially with that queen of swords energy and especially since you have that queen of swords energy as well Aries maybe they just feel like it's like a lost cause and like you're not interested anymore even as well right what's going on all right, I'm pulling cards now for your overall energy. Um, we have the Sun card coming in. Beautiful for your general. Um, 
messages from spirit, right? This the sun card is the best card in the deck. You can't get better than this. This is your this is what this is what you see at the end of that tunnel, right? Remember what I was talking about, right? You may not see that sun right now, but you at the end of you know, <laughs> you eventually see it. You just have to work through that baggage, that ten of wands. What is it that's weighing you down? Um, I just did a live stream last night, actually, and someone pointed out how the Ten of Wands is has an ox on it, and we just got into the Year of the Ox as well. So um, maybe you should look that up as well, see if there's some relevancy for you. And uh, But yeah, I feel like you just have to work through some baggage. You're probably just in a state of clearing, Aries. You're in a state of clearing and just like a mental purge of everything. And so the best way to handle that purge is by just having open communication um, and having confidence and knowing that you're going to just come out at the other side from the other out on the other side of this right um, because you are <clears throat> so for your clarifiers for the sun card we have the eight of swords so this is just lets me know like this is it sounds so dismissive right Aries but I don't mean it in this way but it almost is like once you make it out on the other side you realize it wasn't that bad or you realize where a lot of it was just in your own head and um, how you're kind of like working yourself up. You know, um, well, maybe you don't know, but there's like videos on the internet where it's just like kids that are just like freaking out in the ocean or in the water, freaking out thinking that they're going to drown. And then they like place their feet on the ground finally and they realize that it was only like two feet of water and they're six feet, right? It's kind of like that. I guess that's a big kid if they're <laughs> six feet. But you know what I mean. It's that overthinking nature until actually you plant your feet on the ground. You're like, oh, okay, this is okay. We have the Emperor card coming in, proactiveness with the Three of Wands. So proactivity in terms of your future. I know it seems like for a lot of you Aries, you're kind of so busy thinking about the now and like the what ifs of but in like a negative way and i feel like we need to shift the thinking over to being like what are you going to do when you make it out on the other side of this and see have your sun moment when you're able to finally start reaping the benefits of that hard work in terms of your career when you're able to start making this uh reconvene and reconnect with this person in terms of your social connection or what are you going to do how are you going to take it further from this, right? How are you going to evolve this rather than constantly thinking about like trying to prepare for the worst, right? Because that's how you end up just manifesting um, worst case scenarios, right? But that's the reading that I have for you, Aries. I hope this was helpful in some type of capacity. If it was, be sure to let me know in the comments below and then share my video with a friend if you think they might be into my messages as well. Until next time though, Aries, I love you so much. Bye.